Hey what's up guys, I am back with another video on XMR and today I want to show you how to make your own Monero node. So first things first, why should you make a Monero node? Well typically when you create a Monero wallet, you have two options to sync your wallet with the blockchain, either with a locally created node or with a remote node. They both have their pros and cons, locally hosted is the most private and secure method, However, it is incredibly slow, especially the first time you ever set up a Monero instance on a computer, taking anywhere from a few hours to a few days, depending on your hardware and network speeds. The other method is remote, which is where you sync with a node that is constantly running. Remote nodes are definitely the way to go because since they are always running, they are always in sync with the blockchain. However, many people tend to go the route of choosing a publicly run node which makes the use of your wallet less private and potentially less secure. The solution to this problem is to make our own Monero node. So before we get started, you're going to actually need something for this to work. Uh, you're gonna need a computer that can run 24 seven. Uh, you wanna do this so that you can connect to it at any point and not have to wait to sync your Monero wallet. That is the entire point of what we are doing here. You can either use your own hardware or VPS, although I don't recommend using a VPS as that is technically not your machine and could be possibly even less secure than just connecting to a public node. Now with that out of the way, we need to acquire the Monero daemon. Uh, more likely than not, your distro already has Monero in the repos. If not, I will link the GitHub to it down below. I'm installing this on Arch, but the methods to configure this will be the same across all distros dist uh, equally. Uh, so we'll go ahead and prime up Pac-Man, and we are going to down... And on, I think it's just Monero on most distros, actually, in their repos. Uh, we also need to install UFW. Uh, you don't have to use UFW. You can use whatever firewall you want, but we will be using UFW for this video. Uh, we'll go ahead and install that. Um, I've already got it installed. You know how I roll. I'm not going to install, reinstall something that I've already got installed. So next we need to run sudo UFW default deny incoming. Then we need to run sudo ufw default deny, uh, not deny, allow outgoing. Then we need to run sudo ufw allow whatever port uh, you run SSH on. Then we need to run, okay, well actually before I even we even do that, uh, we need to, we're gonna add a few more ports but we need to decide what we are going to use this node for. Is this node going to just be a node for you to connect to, or is it going to be a peer-to-peer -peer node to help strengthen the network? Today, we're not gonna be doing peer-to-peer, -peer and we're just gonna be going for RPC, so we're going to run sudo ufw allow 18081. And then sudo ufw, which that, that one was the regular RPC port, which would be specifically for us. And then we'll run allow 18089, which is the restricted RPC port. This will be for your friends and everyone else. Um, now we were, now we're going to run sudo ufw enable. And with that out of the way, we are going to edit the configuration at Monero at slash Etsy slash Monero D dot conf and add these lines. So we'll run sudo vim slash Etsy slash Monero D conf. And we're going to add these lines here and I'll explain what these different lines do. So we're going to add our RPC lines, which will be RPC bind. RPT, RPC dash bind dash IP equals um, the instructions say 0 .0 .0 .0. Uh, I never had luck with that. Um, it would fail. I, I run the standard loop back for mine. Then we'll run RPC dash bind dash port equals 18081. And then we will run, not run, we'll write RPC dash login equals and then this is the syntax here you'll put in your username so whatever is here 
you'll put the name that you'll log in with and then your password, which will be right here. Then we'll go ahead and add the restricted lines, which is a little bit less complicated. Uh, we'll just run basically the same thing over here. Res RPC restricted dash bind dash IP. And then we'll do the same thing here. Except we'll do, you know, 18089. And then we're going to... Now this is a personal choice of yours. You can either choose to download the whole blockchain or you can prune it. If you prune it, it'll have like an eighth of the blockchain, a random eighth of the blockchain to verify rather than the whole thing. It's really more just to save space. So you can run prune-blockchain equals true and then put false here if you don't want to do that or I don't think you actually have to put it at all if you don't want to if you just want to run the full blockchain we'll do db sync mode equals safe which um, is the most reliable method of syncing it it's a little bit slow but it's worth it after you get everything set up we'll run enforce dash dns dash checkpointing equals true uh, then we'll run enable dash dns dash block list equals true which you want to do this because it will block malicious dns's uh, we are going to also do these little niceties down here no dash idg igd equals true and then no dash zmq equals true which will use uh, which won't use the zmq configuration We'll do out peers equals 32, which is usually unlimited. Uh, you don't want to pretty much do that just for obvious reasons. I don't really think I need to explain that. And in peers at 32, because it's usually 8, which will make it sync a lot slower. Uh, and then we will save that. And with that out of the way, we can finally start our systemd service for Monero. Started it. Um, well, it's nothing I did wrong at all. I didn't even do anything accidentally. You might, you might have to start the service more than once. Sometimes it doesn't work on the first try. Um, you can check your log by doing, and I, I was right two is just it, it failed to start and i didn't realize i don't know it's, i don't know why it's not working on mine guys i don't know why it's not working on mine uh i'm running my own monero node that i use these exact methods for but that don't let that discount you from doing that this is my monero node right here um and it's working just fine you can see it here you can check it with tail dash f slash var slash log slash monero and there'll be only one file in there see it works just fine i don't know why it's not working on my machine i guarantee you it is going to work on your machine this is the exact configuration i use i might just need to reinstall monero um still give it a try still give it a try especially if you watched along you've already probably done this so it's a little bit finicky, but once you get it running, though, it will work every single time, though. I guarantee it. But uh, with that, make sure to f remember um, some side notes. Make sure to forward your RPC ports and your P2P port, if you did that, on your router to point at your machine running the Monero node. This is about the third most secure setup possible for Monero node. If you want to tighten security on this, you can remove the regular RPC port, which is 18081, and run only the restricted RPC, which I actually recommend you do, and I do this on my own node as well. Uh, even better, you can make this a Tor node, which combined with the previous method will make it as secure as it gets in the software front, of course. Um, Hardware-wise, if somebody was to get access to it, uh, none of that's going to matter. So make sure to secure your hardware too. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more FOSS and Linux-related content.
Um, and I hope to see y'all in the next one.